där blir det lite lillbabs också. <laughs> det var faktiskt inte meningen. Det kommer nog inte bli så mycket av i den här videobloggen. Första avsnittet. Det kan bli intressant innehåll för paddelälskare. Idag ska jag ta mig till en träning med Sergio Beresierto. En paddeltränare och en numera vän som har betytt mycket för mig i, i padden. Och en stor anledning till varför jag har blivit så högt som jag har blivit. Um, så uh, vi tar oss till, till klubben. Well, I'm Sergio Bracierto Hill. I, I was a tennis player a long time ago. But actually I, I, I am a tennis and paddle coach and I continue competing in, in paddle. I continue competing in, in a national tour, in, in Andalusia tour. I see you as a semi-professional paddle player. Is that true? Because yeah, yeah, more or less. If you call professional the guys that play in World Paddle Tour, I think it's the professional tour. Yeah, I, I play as a semi-professional because I compete with very good players, with some of the professional players from the qualities of World Paddle Tour. Mm. But I play the national tour in in Spain, not the World Paddle Tour. Yeah, and. Um, So with that said, the money you get from competing and playing tournaments, it's not enough for living, right? No, for sure, for sure. Your days? No, 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 no. I have to, I have my regular work and my regular work is, is to work on the on the tennis and, and paddle. I manage uh, two, two clubs, mm. okay, the school of two clubs. And yeah, the, the prices in the tournaments is, is, is just, okay, it's just... Uh, For, it's just for enjoy. I mean, it's, it's just for, for compete and, and, and for continue competing and for continue feeling like a player. But it's not about the money. No. <laughs> no. Fram på klubben. Jag kommer träna på saker som inte känns så bekväma idag. Jag tar den tiden. Så det blir verkligen vanligt. Mycket cover the net. Så jag kommer få röra på mig ordentligt. Och fortsätta jakten på matchform efter min skada helt enkelt. Häng på. Nu drar vi till banan. Yes, och den första övningen efter uppvärmning och inbollning var en väldigt typisk drill för Sergio på det sättet han coachar. En lite längre sätt av bollar och bollträffar. Konen här för att jag hela tiden ska röra mig bakåt och försöka bollträffan framåt. Boll ett i riktning diagonalt. Två i mitten, tre mot hörnan och sen börjar jag om boll fyra, fem och sex och sen sjunde bollen. Ett avgörande, hård flack volley eller eventuellt en knack eller smash ut över fyra meter. play uh, on the Andalusian circuit. Yeah. Uh, you have been in semifinals a few times this year. Yes. So yes. the money that you get from yeah, the, uh, the semifinal, what is it? Uh, it, it? It depends. It's like World Paddle Tour because we get some different kind of tournaments. We, we, we call it AVS, okay? And it depends about the money. We call it uh, 3,000, 4,000, until 10,000, okay? Yeah. It means about the money. That that you that the the competition share 
okay, and about the points that mm. you can win when when you participate in the tournament. So maybe in a normal one, uh, three thousand, four thousand AVS, uh, you can win in semifinals uh, four hundred euro for a couple, something like to this. To split. Yeah, 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 for a couple, yeah. nor each. Yeah. For a couple. Yeah, 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 yeah. Something like this. And in a tournament, you go to the semi-final, you get 200 euros, but in the same tournament, I know that we have uh, Javi Ruiz, yeah. <laughs> Javi Guri, Garrido, yeah. 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 Ernesto Moreno can be there, yeah. Yeah. Chingoto Teyu yeah. can be there. Yeah, Gonzalo Rubio, they are at an amazing level, many players from, from World Paddle Tour, from the qualis, and even from the, from the main draw. Okay. Lite begrepp att reda ut från träningen med, med Sergio. Till exempel The Logical Angle. Vad menar Sergio med det? Jo, som föranspelare utgår jag härifrån. Sergio matade härifrån. Matar en lobb. Bam. Och beroende på vad jag slår den här bandagen så kommer nästa boll komma. Uh, enligt ett logical angle, alltså den logiska vinkeln, eller det logiska spelet från den spelaren jag möter i krosset. Okej, okay. så om man nästan går ner hit mot förhandsspelarens förhandssida så är det logiska spelet att spela över mitten för förhandsspelaren. Den här ytan är väldigt svår att nå. Och jag måste delvis göra bort mig som förhandsspelare för att öppna upp den här. Så att vi ska vara beredda på ett spel från mitten. Så, det är scenario nummer ett. Om jag slår min bandesja mot mitten så är det logiska spelet att gå över mitten tillbaka eller mot min kropp. Så det är vad jag kan förvänta mig om jag lägger mig bollen där. Och så. Om jag slår min bandesja ner mot backhandspelaren, antingen mot sidväg eller mer mot fötterna. Så är det logiska spelet antingen tillbaka på mitten, då är det ju inte min boll. Eller är det lite för rakt på mig, så då får jag vara redo för en förhand med boll. So what do you think about the new generation of players and paddle? Well, the new generation of paddle is, 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 is amazing. It's fantastic how it's growing up. Mm. It's, it's incredible, the, the, the young guys, how are they playing, how are they training, how, how, half, how fast they move on court, because everything is changing, the, the materials, uh, the way to be professional. Okay, now the the guys are training like three, four, five hours in a row in a day. Yeah. Okay, physical, on core, tactical, everything. Mm. So they are jump professional. And they they are 17 years old and they have three coaches. They have the paddle coach, they have the physical coach, and that's they have it. the mental coach. That's it. And some of them with the nutrition as well. So, so that's four coaches. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, they are like professional, and I think this is the way to to grow up and, and to make the to try to make the sport uh, to make the one of the biggest sport in the in the world. Yeah. So you think it would be. A different way of playing paddle in in two three years because we already see it happening. I'm sure of this. Yes, I'm sure of this because they. Are, but I think in, in all the sports it happens. I mean, in football, in tennis, in basket, the the power of the young kids, the the size of the young kids, the materials mm. that they use, the way to train that they use, everything is is growing up to 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 change everything. Yep. It's, 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 I'm sure of this, I'm sure of this. If you see now five years ago, matches for five, five years ago, actually you can see shots or you can see games that it was unthinkable before. Yeah. Like hit the smash in the air or like like play the ball out the core and, and things, many things that you never imagined that they're gonna do it. Yeah. So it's, it's amazing, it's amazing. 
And one of these shots uh, I've, uh, I've seen uh, also today, but many times before from you, and that's the, the way of playing volley all over the court. Yeah. Um, so, so why do you use this shot? And do you search for it as often as you can? Or is it something, it's more a tactical thing that, okay, it's yes. now it's time to speed up the, the point and yeah. then... It's, it's, it's about the tactical. I mean, when you are defending, uh, you have to try to win time, and, and the way to, to the way to win time is using the ribbon. Okay, if you play half volley, if you play all the time without ribbon, uh, the guys that are on the net get the advantage. Mm -hmm. Then, when you want to use this kind of volley, okay, it's another way to win time, is to try to steal the net with a lob or, or with another chiquita or, or whatever. But you are trying to to steal time to mm. the guys that are on the net. So, if, for example, if you play a chiquita and you wait that the ball comes on you and the ball bounces on the floor, you are losing time. If you hit the ball in the air, you are winning time, and, and then you maybe it's going to be easy to, to pass them with the love or, or to try to steal the net. Yeah. But you really know... You really, you really need to know what you're doing. Cause, of course. Because it's a very advanced of play. Of course, of course, of course. It's a very difficult shot because you need, you need to get a very good feeling with the ball because mm -hmm. it's not an, an easy shot. And you have to know perfectly when you do it. Because if you want to do it when the ball is over the net, it's, it's <laughs> you're gonna death. Yeah, yeah. You will die. So yeah, 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 yeah. You, yeah. The ball has to be low the net always, and 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 you have to train on this. And it's a difficult game. It's not an easy game. It's advantage. Yeah. It is. <laughs> You've been following the paddle in Sweden for four years, five years. We met first time 2014. Yeah, four years, what, almost five. What have you seen? <laughs> I have seen that. I, I have seen a country that the love paddle. And I have seen how the sport here grew up, and and it was incredible. It was incredible. I have seen how how maybe at the beginning was like five courts, and actually uh, four years later or five years later it's like how much? Uh, I think two hundred. No, I think it's more. Th more three hundred. Three hundred. It's, 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 I lost it. It's, I knew everything up to 50 courts yeah, and I then think I lost every, it. <laughs> every week I hear about, you know, a new club is going to open, uh, yeah. uh, new installations, a new... It's, it's amazing, so I, I love it. I, I love it. I love how the people love the sport. I love how the people want to improve. Mm. I really like how the people like you move to Spain to to learn to to learn about the sport to try to to form yourself and to try to be better player or better coach or or whatever. So it's mm. it's it's awesome. Mm. So what would be your advice for for the the new generation of paddle players in Sweden to to really learn the sport and to be able to come to really challenge the Spanish guys in in the future? I think that that. And they get a, a very good mirror on you, for example. I think this is the way to, to, to improve and, and this is the way to, to try to grow as a player. I mean, they, they have to, to try to train, they have to try to, if it's possible, travel to Spain or, or bring here uh, good coaches or, or, or to form here good coaches. Mm. Not, you, you don't need especially to, to bring from anywhere. But the way is, is, is try to, to be on court all the time, yeah. to be on court, to train, to, to, to learn about the sport. But one thing is to be on court, but the other thing is all the hours needs to be on the right things in the right direction. Yeah, 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 of course. And this is about the coaches. Yeah. This is a, a coach's work. And, and it is, it is. And it's, it's, a, it's a tricky thing when the sport yeah. is really new. Yeah, yeah, it's difficult, but they have to 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 get confident to get confidence on the right people